Jimmy here. And today I want to go over the gear that I'm going to be carrying for summer 2019. So, let's get started. Alright, starting off with the gear that I'm going to be carrying on me. I'm going to be wearing this. This is my Enzo Elver. And uh, this is going to be my light duty bushcraft knife. Um, I'm wanting to get a Bark River. And I should hopefully be getting one very soon. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to be using this. It's incredibly sharp, holds a great edge. And let me see if I can find a piece of wood. It just carves like crazy. Nice smooth cuts, almost as good as a Bark River. I'm gonna be running that either on a belt or on this lanyard. Then I've been wearing my uh, Shemog as a belt. And then I'm gonna be carrying my uh, Big Chopper, which is my modified. Condor Aatrox, and this one is super, super sharp, chops really well, and holds a great edge. It's just perfect for what I use it for. As you can see, nice good cuts, and it's got really good control for such a big blade. So that's the stuff that's going to be on my person. Then, in my bag, I'm going to be carrying two water bottles, one on this side, but I've got it out right now because I was getting a drink, and then one on this other side, right here. Up in this front compartment, I've got two bandanas in case I need to collect stuff or if I'm doing the bow drill. I got a little possibles pouch. And in this pouch, I've got a nice piece of leather for a strop. Where is it? My modified Grand Furs Brooks Axe Puck. If you want to see the modification, uh, go check out Preston Scott 536. This is either his second to last or third to last video, I don't remember for sure. And then, last thing in here is a tea bag, and then I've just got some uh, red tea in a little Altoids tin. Then, I've got some twine, this is just some kitchen twine. Um, and that's what I'm going to be using for cordage, since I'm not really going to be needing uh, to tie crazy stuff up. Um, I just need that, which is strong, but uh, not too strong, but it's good for me. And then I've got a ferro rod, and the ferro rod is actually going to be my backup fire starter, because I want to start doing some more primitive skills so I'm gonna be mostly using my bow drill kit for uh, fire starting this is a really nice bow drill kit nice big uh, hearth board that's about eight eight or nine inches long nice big spindles and it works really well gets giant giant coals um, also in here, I've got my Fiskars 10-inch folding saw, and this thing is a beast. goes through wood like no problem, and you can set it so that the saw is at an angle so you can do some back cuts as well with this thing, and it's just really, really versatile. And it's only uh, 20 bucks everywhere, so I definitely recommend getting one of these. Um, then I've got 
last thing in here. Oh, got a little caterpillar buddy in here as well. Gonna get you out of there without crushing you. Come on, dude. Come on out of there. There we go. Just a little silkworm. But then the last thing in here is just a uh, queen sized flat sheet. And that's gonna be what I'm gonna use for my blanket. And I can also make a hammock out of it if I uh, bring some paracord as, as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be running really lightweight this year. Um, the only things that I'm gonna add to this kit is a hammock. Um, if I want a dedicated hammock instead of this blanket, um, and camera equipment. And the camera equipment is just simply a uh, flex tripod, a non-flex tripod, my phone, and this uh, little speaker if it's really windy. Or not speaker, I'm sorry, microphone. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's a nice quick little video. And uh, I'll see you all on down the trail. Take care.